I'll uh, start by creating a new web project. It's going to be running on uh, Glassfish uh, 4. And uh, here I'm going to have a server endpoint class. I'm gonna call chat server endpoint it's gonna be in this uh, package and uh, I'm gonna have a chat message and a uh, chat message uh, encoder where the chat message is going to be converted into a text message and a chat message decoder where the string, where the string is uh, converted into an object of uh, type uh, chat message, and uh, the client is going to be an HTML page that uh, I'm going to call default.html. Now the chat message is going to contain a name and a string, which would be the message. And I'm going to have getters and setters for both. Now uh, going to the encoder class, it's going to implement uh, encoder.text and uh, this interface uh, provides a way for to convert a custom object into a text message. So the custom object here is a chat message. And uh, next, I'm going to go to the chat message uh, decoder, which is going to implement this uh, interface, decoder.text. Uh, uh, this interface defines how a custom object, in this case, the custom object is a chat message. So how that custom object is decoded from a WebSocket message in the form of a string. So I have the decode method here. I would have a string passed in and it's, I'm gonna end up with a chat message returned from uh, based on that uh, string. Uh, this uh, method, the will decode method, uh, essentially uh, it's gonna answer if the given string can be decoded into an object of type uh, chat message. Next, let me go to my uh, chat server endpoint and I'm going to annotate it as a server endpoint. So it's going to be accessed with the project name slash uh, chat server endpoint and uh, the encoders I have this uh, chat message encoder dot class and the decoder is uh, chat message decoder dot uh, class so the encoders uh, it's going to contain the ordered array of encoder classes that uh, this endpoint is going to use this uh, chat server endpoint is going to use and uh, same thing for the decoder so here in both cases I just have one encoder and uh, one decoder. 
and uh, I'm gonna be maintaining a set of uh, chat room users. The session is gonna represent each one of those uh, users, and that session is gonna be uh, javax.websocket.session. And uh, here we're gonna have a handle open method that is uh, gonna be called when a new connection is established and the connection is uh, represented by the session, the session parameter. So I'm gonna annotate it with the on open annotation. And uh, here I'm gonna be adding uh, that user to the uh, set of uh, sessions. And same thing, I'm gonna have an uh, uh, handle close method that is annotated with the on close annotation, and uh, that is. Uh, called once the connection is uh, being closed and uh, the connection is uh, represented by uh, the session parameter so what I'm gonna do here is to remove uh, that session from the set of uh, sessions that I'm maintaining here for the different uh, users and I'm gonna have a handle message method that uh, I'm gonna annotate it with the on message annotation. So it's gonna be called when a new message is uh, received. Now uh, the first message that a user is gonna be sending is gonna be their uh, username, and I'm gonna be storing that uh, username in the session under uh, username and gonna be picking up so incoming chat message dot uh, get message the initial message is gonna contain that uh, username so initially I'll try to uh, pick up that uh, username and uh, if it is uh, null then I'm gonna store it otherwise I'm gonna uh, set the outgoing message with that uh, username so let me define an outgoing message here and uh, set the name as uh, username and for the first message, the system is going to be communicating back. So I'm going to set the name as uh, system. And it's going to be uh, saying you are now connected as uh, incoming chat message dot uh, get message. As uh, supplied uh, username. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, send that uh, populated outgoing uh, chat message now uh, down here I'm gonna uh, set the message for the outgoing uh, chat message as the incoming chat message dot uh, get message so I'm gonna uh, take that message and broadcast it to all users in that uh, chat room so I'll pick up an iterator for the chat room users and uh, iterate through all the sessions in that set 
and uh, send the outgoing message, the outgoing chat message to each one of them. Now uh, going to a chat message encoder in the encode method. Let me change this to message. And uh, I'm gonna be returning a, a string and take in the chat message instance. So essentially I'm gonna encode the given object into a string. So I'm gonna do JSON that uh, create object builder dot add uh, the message dot uh, get name it's gonna be the name and the message dot uh, get message it's gonna be the message and I'm gonna do a build and uh, a to string and let me clean up this code also. Now uh, going to the chat message decoder and in the will decode method change this to message and uh, here I'm gonna check if the incoming message is a valid uh, JSON and I'm gonna return true or false based on that and uh, if it is uh, true I'm gonna go to the decode method and uh, decode uh, the given string into an object of uh, type chat message So I'll instantiate a chat message and set its message and gonna be returning that uh, chat message. Next, uh, going to default.html. Uh, this is uh, gonna be the title. Uh, in the body I'm gonna have a read-only text area where the exchanged uh, messages are gonna be displayed and uh, an input uh, text field where the user is gonna enter their message and uh, a send button that is gonna trigger a, uh, a JavaScript uh, send function and uh, gonna have a JavaScript code and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do here is to pick up a web socket so it's gonna be going to uh, localhost 8080 and the project name is a web socket project uh, 03 and uh, chat server endpoint that is uh, coming from here and uh, when a message comes in from the server so on the on message event uh, I'm gonna trigger this function process message so here I'm gonna start by uh, parsing the incoming uh, data in the ch chat message. So chat message dot uh, data, and after parsing it, 
I can uh, call do JSON that name and uh, JSON that uh, message to pick up uh, the name and uh, the message and I'm gonna put them in uh, the messages text area and uh, gonna have a, uh, a column in between and I'm also gonna need a send function that is gonna be called when the button is clicked and here I'm gonna start by uh, picking up what's inside the text field that's gonna be the message that I need to send and uh, gonna call a stringify function that is uh, gonna give me back a, uh, a JSON text and uh, gonna clear the text uh, field and when I uh, close a browser I wanna be able to uh, remove that uh, user from the set of uh, chatroom users so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have uh, window dot on before unload and I'm gonna disable the on close and uh, trigger a close websocket dot uh, close Next, uh, let me go ahead and uh, run it. It's not gonna run on this internal browser, so I'm gonna open up uh, two Chrome browsers. 